In this video, I'm figuring out how to make Tannerite that'll work with a BB gun. It's just the beginning phase, so even though a lot of these do work with a BB gun, they're not what you might call safe. I don't recommend copying this. You do do it at risk to your own body. Uh, watch the whole video if you're going to copy it so you can see a lot of warnings, successes, and failures. I also recommend watching the video that I made on proper care of potassium chlorate. I'll put the link in the description. If you're a little dude or this is your first time playing with chemistry, I don't recommend starting with this video. Potassium chlorate and sulfur and aluminum powder aren't good friends. They don't like to be good friends. That's why I'm using them uh, to be set off by a BB gun. See, each lid has a little piece of tape to indicate which ingredient is going to be going in there. So this one is one part sulfur. So let's make that part. We just switched to a time lapse. So like you can see, there's eight different bottles for eight different mixtures for our potassium chlorate for our potassium perchlorate mixtures and we'll dry them all out i think i'll try the rest out during the day this is the one that i think was the least stable i wanted to try it first i think i'll put the oxidizers in the rest of them tomorrow we'll see how this stuff does no cat you go away go What I found is the powder mixture, in order for it to get set off, it has to have something to kind of hit against. So last night I put in some lead pellets with a potassium chlorate mixture. So when the BB struck, it'd give it something to resist against and smack around. I'm gonna try some plastic airsoft pellets because it's cheaper than lead. I'm gonna see if that gives it enough resistance. 
mix in the plastic toss there. Don't smash it. And we'll take some high speed now. Rip the paper up. Successful pop, and that last one was mixture number seven. The next one will be mixture number six. So it doesn't have any sulfur in it, so it might be a little more stable. But also, what I've found in the past is sulfur slows down the reaction, but the sulfur also destabilizes potassium chlorate. So this one might be harder to set off. So the last mixture we did had potassium chlorate and just aluminum powder. Uh, this one we're gonna do has potassium chlorate and just sulfur and carbon mixed in the same proportions as old fashioned gunpowder. The sulfur destabilizes it, like I said. This is about how many little airsoft pellets I've been using. And as you can see on the last one, that worked really good. Uh, you wanna be real gentle when you're mixing this stuff. Don't give it any sudden shakes, cause as you can tell, it can be set off by a BB gun. Just a gentle little roll. Make sure that if you're rolling it, like, and you're watching this as a how to like play this in regular speed because you don't want to be rough with something that has potassium chlorate and sulfur in it because uh, that'll tick off the potassium chlorate and you don't want to take that stuff off while it's in your hands. I didn't use very much in that last one because I know potassium perchlorate and aluminum are really loud. I'll have to weigh out how much I have left in that last mixture to try to tell how much I used. Up to this point, I've just been kind of eyeballing it. Another thing to be careful of is when you screw the lid on, make sure there's nothing stuck in your lid that you're gonna squeeze down on because you don't want that to happen. Maybe the safety lid's probably not a good idea. The other thing is when you're not shooting this stuff, have it stored in a safe location. Got bottles of this stuff, the Tannerite stuff. I've been keeping them under a metal bowl in case anything coming off decides to strike it because there's lots of little air pellets in here. This is this is more than I used for the aluminum mixture because this doesn't have any aluminum in it. So it's gonna burn a bit slower. We'll see how good of a job it does. You can see with the last one, there wasn't a loud shock, so that was kind of nice. Well, might might seem kind of nice for some people. Just a nice puff of smoke, which makes it nice and gentle. But now we're going back to one with aluminum in it. So we've got potassium chloride, aluminum, and sulfur. we got some little airsoft. This one, we're going back to aluminum. The one before just had potassium chloride, carbon, and sulfur, so no loud shock from aluminum. Just a nice pleasant puff of smoke that lets you know that you hit your target. So this one, I think if it went off right now, I'd definitely remove my fingers. Not something you really want to drop. I'll have to see how dangerous it is to drop. I'll have to go and give it a drop test from somewhere. See what happens. Set that down nice and gentle like. Get the funnel in there. And we'll put in less in this one than we did in the last one. Tap it down from the, you want to tap that down from the lid. In the past, the sulfur has slowed down the explosion a bit with flash powder, but I imagine it won't be by much because this is potassium chlorate, so it'll probably still give a good pop. <laughs> 
We'll just mix that in with the pellets there. All right, let's see what happens. So this is mixture number three, potassium chlorate, sulfur, and aluminum. Let's see. It uh, tore the piece of paper bag to shreds. Also moved it quite a bit. And it, this is the thing that was holding it in place. Kind of got bent up a little bit. I have to say mixture number three was effective and that was with little airsoft BBs mixed in. So what I want to see now is since air, mixture three was so effective, I want to see if it will be effective with uh, just powder, no airsoft BBs mixed in. So we'll try that next. It's mixture number three again, same one as last time. It's just that much of it right there. We're gonna test without air soft BBs again. This one, potassium chlorate, sulfur, and carbon. And this one is just gonna be a pleasant smoke cloud. Not really a crack, because there's no aluminum in this one, but it might not go off at all. So this one, I'll probably put in a bit more. That's not how much you wanna put in with the aluminum stuff. This aluminum stuff has a bit more crack to it.
Pleasant. We're gonna see how much is left. Mixture number six. So we can see how much I used. We have 16.5 grams left. We started with 20 grams. That was about three and a half grams. Three and a half grams is what produced that crack. Uh, so that is your warning about how powerful this stuff is, how loud it is. Three and a half grams produced a huge crack -a boom We're gonna try to stay under that. It's 5.6 grams. I, I don't want to do 5.6 grams. We're going to take it back down. Okay, 2.7 grams. That, that sounds better. That sounds more like something I, I feel okay doing this close. So this is mixture number six. It's just potassium chlorate and aluminum powder, dark aluminum powder. Be careful on that. You don't want to squeeze it. I still haven't done all the sensitivity testing on this. I probably should. Let's see how that does. No plastic BBs to help set it off. Okay, so mixture number six, perhaps a bit more stable than the others. It was a bit harder to set off. We're gonna make a bit more mass on there and see how it does. I know the ground is, is not what I should be weighing stuff on, be level and stuff. Five point three grams. Mixture number six again. No airsoft BBs mixed in there. Now I'm going to do a bit of ability testing. That uh, last one, uh, just potassium chloride and aluminum powder, seemed pretty good, pretty stable. Well, I had to hit it good with a BB in order to set it off. So what I'm going to do now, back to potassium chloride and carbon and sulfur mixture, and I'm just going to drop it in this bag to see how dangerous is it to drop. Is it going to set off? Well, that's good to know. Now what I'm gonna do is stick a few airsoft BBs in it and we will try dropping it again.
All right, so this first one is going to be mixture number two. This is uh, potassium perchlorate, carbon and sulfur, no aluminum involved. This one I'm expecting to be kind of quiet, just a puff of smoke, I think, is what it'll be. Got everything ready. We're going to go in order uh, 2158. They're all potassium perchlorate mixtures. Two has no aluminum. Number one is just potassium perchlorate and aluminum. Mixture number two, one. Five, eight. I'm expecting this one to be the easiest to set off, but probably pretty comparable to five. Probably about the same as the last one right before. I just put, let it go to the the funnel there, and go a little bit past it. So each each one has about the same, except for number two. The first one has twice as much in it because I'm not expecting it to crack. Just expecting it to be a puff of smoke. We'll see how that goes. One last time. One last time. So mixture eight was the only potassium perchlorate mixture that successfully detonated. Gonna try mixture number eight again without any airsoft pellets to see if it can detonate just uh, without airsoft pellets.
I just want to make sure it wasn't a spoof. This is mixture number eight again. Make sure I just didn't luck out. I'm gonna try it again, make sure it's repeatable. I'm just gonna shoot it one more time with the plastic balls. Uh, gotta use up the rest of it. Don't want to store it. We'll see how it goes. All right, so just got a little bit left. We're gonna some out on the ground to see if I can shoot that and set it up. Unfortunately, it's not the most sensitive one. This is just potassium chlorate and aluminum. Not the most sensitive one, so I'll be lucky if it can set it off. Thank <laughs> you. 